Oh my gosh. Guys, that's a snake. Oh! Oh! The most tender part of this fish right here. What's up, everybody? This is the video I've been wanting to do for a long time. Just talked to my buddy Ryan is fishing with a Z. Headed down to Fort Lauderdale area snakehead fishing. We're gonna go fish a little bit during the daytime, hopefully get one so we have good footage. But dude, he's like, bring your headlight. We're gonna get him at night. So I've got my Gator Pro headlight, got a fishing pole. I'm headed south. We will see y'all there. There by that plant. Oh, How cool could that be? Oh, oh man! Oh. Got him! Oh, it's a bass! Not the species we were looking for, but a cool one nonetheless. We just missed a stud, stud snakehead right over there. I was a little trigger happy. All right, spot number two. We found them on spot number one, but we're gonna go back and crush them in the dark. We're just trying to find one to catch to show you guys in the day what they look like and how they act and what type of stuff they're in. We're putting on the spotlights and going back in the dark. Oh, there's a snake right under there, right under that stick. You still there? You see those bubbles right there? All right, guys, there was a snakehead right there. See my bait and those bubbles coming up? These things are ambush predators. They'll literally lay right on the edge of the bank and wait for anything to come by. Baby duck. I bet you they eat baby iguanas that get in to get a drink. Frogs, fish, they're gnarly. The biggest thing, if you're getting weight, just don't slow it down. Just keep it going. Something right up there. Oh my God, that's a snake. That's a snake. Oh, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it. Oh my gosh. Guys, that's a snake. Oh, put it back, put it back, put it back. That was unbelievable. What about that, y'all? I don't know what happened. I don't know why he didn't get it. I let him suck it up. Hey, just one of those things. But dude, he come charging down the he bank. He was on the land. Like, he, he actually got the bait off the land. He did. Wow. I don't know why they're not. I, Oh, for five, and I let that one swim off with it. This is so frustrating. Set. No, he don't have it. Oh my gosh, that's a giant snake. I now know what they're doing. They're not, they're just <sighs> trying to kill it to get it away from them. goes again i've waited till he turned left all right y'all when in doubt let somebody else hold the rod he was to the right oh we're 0 for 6 are you kidding me i told you that is so weird all right guys so sometimes Oh my God, that's a giant snakehead. We're literally zero for seven. Sometimes you just gotta keep going. We're 0 for seven now, we're trying. Nice we're coming back tonight, guys. This is unbelievable. Introduce though. yourself anyways. What's going on, guys? I'm Ryan is fishing, and I do lots of cool fishing. Be sure to check out my channel. We're about to catch a big old snake right now. This fish came all the way out of the water. It was un unreal. Perfect. Are you flipping kidding me? I'm telling you, dude, they're being stupid. Hey guys, I've been snakehead fishing for five years and I've never had anything like this happen to me before. We're looking at a giant right there. You can't see him on camera, but I can see his orange mouth. He's the big one that chased it down the bank earlier. I'm gonna see if he'll eat this creature bait. I'm trying not to even move because I don't want him to. Yeah. I see his mouth. Any little movement that he sees, he's going to dip. Put it on his head right now. Don't move. Don't reel it over his back. Go, 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 go. He's turning, he's spinning out, spinning out. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. All right, guys, he just ate it. He just ate it. He's swimming out. There it is. There it is. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Don't lose him, we need one to cut. This is the eater. Oh. 
There it is. That's a giant. Dude, he is a big oh one. Oh my gosh. With just enough light. Holy cow. You see that blue right there? Guys, they get this blue turquoise color when they spawn. So this fish is on fry. He has a bunch of babies. So we're gonna release this one. He's not gonna be for the catch and cook tonight, but this fish is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna hold them up for you guys so you can get a better look. Guys, look at that they fish. They can see the blue now. Isn't that gorgeous? How about that, y'all? I quit fishing for five minutes. I couldn't see the fish anymore. Wanted to go back to the truck. We're gonna come back out once it gets dark. So we'll turn this one loose and come get another one. Look how much blue is on this fish. That is absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna turn this one loose because she's spawning. She has some babies. Look at that. Look at her go. Gorgeous fish. We're gonna go back, get the headlights, and come back down the bank in the dark. He says that they're a lot easier to catch that way. I've never done it, so we're gonna go try. We'll see y'all in a second. It knows the. There it is. In the mouth. She ate it, dude, that's a good peacock. Look at this awesome peacock. Garden fry, in the mouth, just ate a bear hook at night. Blue Gabe, Ryan is fishing, and we're doing it. We're catching everything but snakeheads, but we are going to get one. All right, y'all, so most people are familiar with the butterfly peacock. This is a Popoka peacock. See that big hump? And the black stripe on that hump right there. I think this might be my first one. Gorgeous fish. We're gonna take a few pictures and put it right back with her babies. And there she goes. Hold up. Talk about it. Oh, little baby snake. Look at the little baby. She's stuck right there in the grass. You still there? Got her? Got my first snake No head. freaking way. <laughs> no way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did you really just grab this with your bare hands? Yeah. All right, y'all. Apparently, I can catch one with my bare hands, but not the fishing pole. Beautiful. That's pretty neat. Little guy. And it's gone. <laughs> All right, y'all. We have been getting our butts whooped by these snakeheads. It's not that we're not seeing them. They'll blow right up on the bait and then just turn off. So Ryan told me he's got a buddy, Aaron, knows what to do, knows how to get them done. We've got the secret juice, and we're not going to show you just yet, but we're going to show you in a minute. Got the spinning rod, big hook. Hopefully, go catch one big fish. Let's go. Check out the secret juice. For those of y'all that watched the frogging video, that's what we do with the rest of the frog. These boys say that they can't take it. They got to have them some bullfrog. Let's go find one. But y'all, we just found baby fry. Aaron said, put it in that hole. I put it in that hole. She picked it up, but all night we've been experiencing them. They're picking it up, but they're not eating it. She Ooh. just ate it. She ate it? She, well, she, she bit it, the bubbles came up. She might've dropped Ready? it. Is she on? Yeah. You sure? She's eating it right now. Set the hook if she's on. There it is. Get her out, get her out. Get her off the fish, she'll slide right back in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's>, hallelujah! <laughs> that is a, a nice beautiful one. snake. Perfect eating size right there. Hi, right, y'all. This has been one hard task. Say hello to my little friend. Let's see if it's mouth. Look at those teeth. Right on the lower jaw right there. They got some on the top too. And if you look real deep in their mouth, you'll see those crunches in the back. They'll, they'll mm -hmm. crack a turtle shell with that. All right, y'all. We'll see you in the morning. I've got to get home, get to bed. Got to be up first thing in the morning to run my bobcats, and we're going to be at it again tomorrow afternoon. All right, y'all, check that out in the daylight. Look at those colors. There's the dot. Now, here's how we're going to prepare this thing. I'm cooking from here up and about from here to here. My mom and dad want to save some and try it. So Ryan and I are eating from here up and one side about here. I'm going to cook a piece of the filet real plain, and I'm going to make the head into a soup. I'm literally going to scale it a little bit, plop it in a bowl, make a soup. That's just what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to take a little section of the filet, cook it with just salt and pepper. We want to get the full experience of eating snakehead. I'm going to filet the rest and give it to my parents and if we can we're gonna take this belly and make a swordfish bait out of it all right so everybody's seen a fish get scaled before I don't want to show you all right now plus everything gets dirty I'm gonna go ahead and knock these scales off and then show you all the rest from there on out Dude, check this out they have scales all the way on their head I never knew that about snakeheads that's pretty neat all right since YouTube is against blood we went ahead and scaled this fish completely look at this all this was scales now Ryan here, he's been fishing for these things forever and didn't even know it. His whole head was scales, even where it's rock hard. Now y'all ever seen one of them pillows where you wipe it one way and it goes the color? Now watch this, right back to perfect color. 
All right, so here's the really cool thing. One of our good friends, Nick, down in the Keys, he does sword fishing, all type of deep dropping grouper fishing, but his forte is sword fishing. I'm sure y'all have already seen him. He caught that 750 pounder. We just cut this snakehead's belly out. I'm headed to the Keys tomorrow with my kids. Nick called me and said, drop this bait off. So if you guys go to his YouTube, the link will be in the description below. You will more than likely, if you watch his YouTube, watch him use this exact bait. Now let's knock the side off this fish real quick. So because we're eating the head, I'm gonna leave a little bit attached to the head just to give us a little bit more meat. So just like any other fish, just get right down on that backbone. Now, before I flip this over, I have never cleaned one of these, never seen one of these clean. Don't know what the meat looks like. Let's look at it together. Dang, it's white meat. I mean, perfect. It's got the same pin bones as everything else. I'm excited. So we're gonna cook this little piece, just salt and pepper, just so we get the full snakehead experience. But that head's going into a soup. I'm gonna knock this other side off. I'll see y'all in the kitchen. All right, so we're in the kitchen, as y'all can tell. I walk through Publix every time I'm gonna cook something, and like, as I'm walking, I'm thinking. I think about coconut milk, ginger, garlic, some of these noodles. So this is what we're doing. Taking a can cooker, one thing of coconut milk. Just gonna take the can to get the last bit of these juices out. Add that in there. Now I'm gonna fill it up. Not fill it up, but it's about halfway full. Now is where the experiment is gonna come in. Take a regular old spoon, a rather large heaping of garlic. Not quite as much ginger. Not that much. Take a little bit of this kimchi sauce. Big shout out PK from Rhoda. About that much. I'm gonna get this boil and get it hot. All right, he's taking his last swim. Don't mind Redneck. Y'all haven't seen Redneck in the last couple of videos either. That is the loudest, most obnoxious eating dog ever. All right, so let's put the head in. Now, what this can cooker will do will allow it to cook way faster and almost sort of like pressurize it, make everything tender, get all those juices in there. All right, got the vegetables cut up, the potatoes cut up, the rice noodles cooking. Y'all look at this head. So I had an idea. I've never done this before in my life. I didn't even research it, but I've cooked my whole life. I thought about letting this head cook down in this soup, but then I thought, no, 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 because that won't look cool. I'm gonna take this head out. It's about three quarters cooked. Put it in this pan and put it in the oven. Then I can add my vegetables and my potatoes to the soup, get the soup how I want it. We'll eat the soup, and then we'll be able to dig into this head to show you the jaw bones and the teeth. All right, so we're gonna attempt to get it out without it falling off. I just don't know if it's gonna work. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, one of the throats fell off. All right, now, so this white cream is the coconut cream and a little bit of the fish head fat, the fat coming out of it, which is what we want. That's where all the vitamins are. So I'm gonna give Ryan his choice. Y'all have seen me cook with the butter garlic and the Creole. Do you wanna use? I think we should go with the Creole. Let's spice it up. All right, you want the Creole? Let's do it. This is sort of a, I guess you'd call it Asian-y style dish. I'm just gonna give it a little sprinkle. Now, I'm gonna slap this thing in the oven and get it ready. You get these from your local grocery store, makes it easy. Everything easier. Uh oh. <laughs> that was hot. Give it a little extra flavor. A little extra flavor. All right, now add the potatoes. Now, this is the part that I don't know if it's gonna work, but I love mushrooms so much, I'm gonna make it work. I think that's gonna actually be really good with the mushrooms. Me too. I can already tell you before even looking at it, needs a little kimchi sauce, a little bit more. Oh yeah, I've been eating like spoonfuls of that while we're cooking. That stuff is so good. All right, so this is a piece we're gonna cook in the pan just pretty much with salt and pepper because we want to get the full flavor. I just took this piece off. I'm gonna cut this fish up and add it to the soup. Cut it in little chunks, not that big. I just want to add this little bit of chunks of meat to the soup just so we can get some big chunks. Now, I'm gonna brown some of this coconut. Y'all have already seen me do it a couple times, so I'm not gonna put it on the show. Once I serve that soup, I'll sprinkle the brown coconut on top. So I just rub down the fish with a little bit of olive oil, the zucchini, the peppers. I haven't showed y'all the onion pepper yet. I'm gonna go light on the fish though, because we wanna get the full experience. We got the flavor of the soup, the head, the fat, all that in that fish's head. Fish is almost done in the oven, the soup's done. All I gotta do is this little quick part. Here it goes. 
getting down. Now look at this. Oh. And you know this, man. One of my favorite things my mom used to cook when we were young, she would cook that zucchini, but she'd make it with squash in a cast iron skillet. Man, man. Drum roll, please. Oh, look at wow. that. Look how tender it is. It just fell apart. I can't wait to dig into that. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for allowing me to meet Ryan and us have a safe trip. Thank you for allowing your son to die on the cross to forgive us for our sins. Amen. Amen. All right, wanna try the... No, actually, I'm gonna do this differently because you've been filming everything. All right, y'all, he's been filming everything for nothing. Just to be a good friend and help me out, we're gonna collab together a lot in the future. I'm gonna film him take the first bite. All right, all right, guys. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this first. Here it goes. The plain fish. Skin just peeled right off of this, so we're just gonna go for the meat. Here it goes. Wow. You can actually taste the fish. That's like the best part about it. I like how you didn't season it too, too much, so you can actually enjoy the flavor of this fish. Now we're gonna go for some soup. Better blow on that. I don't got words for that. That is just unbelievable. We're gonna pop out this cheek meat and we're gonna eat it. Look at this. The most tender part of this fish right here. Skin on and all. Let's do it. That was good, that was good, but this. Do you hear how hard that is? Look at this. This is the best part right here. And, th and it keeps going. There's, there's more meat. That's the pupil. Mm. I don't know if you need this. No, no, there it is, the eyeball. Let's go for it, cheers. Not bad. It's not edible, so. <laughs> definitely not. not. <laughs> I'm definitely glad he's here because I'm not eating eyeballs, but we're gonna dig into this head. I'm gonna set the camera over there. We'll talk for a few more seconds and then we'll be seeing you. All right, you guys, this has been a super awesome show. Amazing meeting Ryan. Thanks for taking me fishing. Thanks for cooking We'll be me. friends for a lifetime. You'll see me on his and you'll see him on mine a bunch. He's a killer just like I am. I haven't even tried this soup yet. That toasted coconut, you can taste that immediately. You taste that? A little sweet. Those rice noodles? Killer. Killer. All right, huge shout out to Aaron Cove. He called his buddy Aaron Cove. Five minutes later, we were on fish. Huge shout out. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for all the positive comments. He actually has a channel. Subscribe. Ryan is fishing on YouTube. IZ fishing. IZ, Ryan with IZ Fishing. Awesome channel. Thanks for subscribing. Please keep sharing with your friends. That's how we make our money. Sorry about all the ads, but that's how we get paid. Till next time, we go.